But let's look at the stock market first of all. Elio D'Amato joins you from Stockopedia. Elio, how is Friday looking? Well, the good news is it's actually up at the moment, Raf, around 0.2% at the moment, the All Ordinaries, but it was a mixed night in the US, uh, which is actually quite surprising that we went up. Um, for the week, though, uh, that Wednesday, that really gazumped us, so we're likely to finish down on what uh, has basically ended up being an all-time weekly close high last week. So really not too much to be concerned about but obviously something to watch. Uh, nonetheless, in this shortened review, we saw two weeks ago, we talked the wine ore, inevitably reaching 100 US dollars per ton. Well, today, uh, $90 US per ton is uh, basically the target. And last night, the metal continued to fall uh, with prolonged weakness in the expected uh, demand coming from China, of course, this and next month. So look for big news stories in that space. Uh, it, we didn't only fall, though, overnight. Um, oil, uh, that saw a bit of a bounce. Uh, gold is comfortably back above 2,500 US dollars per ounce for the moment. Uh, and the Aussie dollar is a little higher than where we left it yesterday at 67.4 US cents. Our best sector today is financials. We just can't get enough of buying houses. Um, our worst today is energy. Uh, and that's actually for the second day in a row with Woodside continuing to fall as they announce a big bond issue. Look, there really is no corporate news of note today, Raf. Uh, obviously, that's because because boards across the country are wondering how Carlton will get up against Brisbane in this week's sold-out game or match of the round at uh, the game at the Gabba there. Uh, me, on the other hand, well, I'm supremely confident that we will proceed the next week. Uh, and in case you're wondering, I will be enjoying it from the comfort of my own home. Uh, but uh, anyway, we'll be cheering nonetheless. Uh, and that is all in our market open, Raf. Thank you very much, Elio D'Amato there at Stockopedia, feeling very optimistic about tomorrow night. That's okay. Optimism's a good thing.